tangential velocity and the radial velocity, tangential acceleration and radial acceleration. Next technique is So we are having two types of velocity. The body has the velocity can be now radial velocity or tangent velocity. So to get the actual velocity, we put a square these two terms in the certain velocity. Similarly, we are having two acceleration, radial acceleration and the tangent acceleration to get the resultant acceleration. Radial acceleration also called the centrifugal acceleration V square by R R R omega square. This tangential acceleration can be yes, R R. But alpha is the rotation acceleration. So we should know that S equal to R theta, V equal to R omega, A equal to R alpha. This is the relation between the linear motion and the angular motion. When we relate the linear motion to the angular motion, the linear displacement is S equal to R times of theta is angular displacement. V equal to R omega. V is the linear velocity. Omega is the angular velocity. R omega is the linear acceleration. Angular acceleration. What is the unit of linear displacement? 190 degree meter theta radius for velocity for acceleration for omega for alpha this is the thing you should remember dimension for radius no dimension no dimension m power 0, l power 0, d power 0. For any per second, t power minus 1. Yes. When you know this, you are a two wide engineer. It is simple thing, but we should not focus on the simple things. If you focus on the simple things, you can easily learn. What are the types of velocity? We are having radial velocity and tangential velocity. And what types of acceleration? Radial acceleration. Radial acceleration. Tangential acceleration. The radial acceleration is also called as normal acceleration or centripetal acceleration or centrifugal acceleration. It has three names. Normal, radial, centripetal or same. Okay. So this is the types of acceleration and the types of velocity. Thank you.